If you want to know how to make your videos higher quality in KineMaster, then you're going to want to stick around until the very end of this video because we're going to turn that quality all the way up in this video and show you exactly how you can max out those resolutions. So be sure to stick around until the end. What's going on? My name is Devin Street and I'm helping you build your online presence and today we're going to be talking about how you can make better quality videos in the KineMaster video editing app. But if you're not already subscribed, go ahead and click that subscribe button and then turn on notifications. There's a new video every single Wednesday showing you how you can edit in KineMaster. So having higher quality videos is always going to be important on YouTube and today we're going to be talking about how you can use KineMaster to actually make your videos higher quality, make them look better, and make the final project that you come out with that you export into YouTube look great for your viewers. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into KineMaster and check this out right now. So we're in the KineMaster app now and before we even jump into our video to start working on it and messing around with things, let's actually just go into settings, go and click on this gear right here. And then once we're here, what we want to do is just scroll down and click advanced and experimental settings. Now it's going to give a warning that these are for advanced KineMaster users, stuff that where they really know what will happen with these kind of things and we're going to continue on this because there's a setting in here that we really want to use for this and this is allow export frame rates higher than 30 fps this is going to unlock your 50 fps your 60 fps those higher fps's in KineMaster that has usually not been able to be unlocked in any way and i'm so happy this is actually available now and i think like I want to say one of my first ever KineMaster videos, I talked about how I wish there was higher FPS's and now that's in there. That's a great option and I'm glad they have that. But remember, if you want to export in those frame rates, you have to have a video that is higher than 30 FPS. So make sure in your camera settings you're recording at a 60 FPS to make sure you're importing that into your video editing when you want to export in 60 FPS. So now we're going to jump into our video editor and check this out and see what we can do to make the video look better and higher quality. So I have this simple 60 FPS video right here and the first thing we're going to do is actually we can go down here and turn on this vignette feature. And if you compared my videos from like a couple months ago to now you'll notice I'm using this all the time because I really like this feature and I think it looks really great. Next up, one of the options you can do is actually click on color filters. There's some good options in there, but I personally like to do color adjustment and give myself a custom look to work with. When in here, you're going to turn the brightness up or lower it based on what you want to have. And then you can turn things like the vibrance, the temperature up of it, and really just determine how you want this to look. Personally, I think the normal for this video is just going to look better with just a normal look with no effects on it at all. Now next up, this is going to be a really cool effect that we're going to look at. We need to go to the KineMaster store and we're going to click on that and then we're going to go over here to effects and click on effects and then you're going to want to scroll down about half ways and then you're going to find sharpen right here. We're going to click on sharpen and go ahead and download that. Now that we've got sharpened and installed, it's actually going to sharpen the edges of objects and things in the video clip. So this is actually going to give you a higher video quality that looks really a lot better. If we keep on scrolling down through here, we're going to find Auto HDR right here. We're going to click on this and Auto HDR is going to add a HDR effect to your video if your camera didn't already do that. Now most cameras you're already going to have HDR turned on but this is a great effect to go ahead and add HDR onto your video too. Now that we got both of these installed we're just going to exit out and go back to our video and scroll over all the way to the left and click layers. Once we're in here we're going to click effects and then we're going to scroll down to our two we downloaded. Sharpen first, we're going to add this on. And then once we've added this effect in, we're going to expand it. And you can already tell the difference it makes. If we just put it on one side and look at this, you can tell it's starting to make a difference. And then we can actually turn the settings up to sharpen the strength even more. And then you're going to tell a massive difference between the two sides. So we're going to go ahead and put this over the entire video 
and really make sure we have the right setting that we want for this. And we can sort of turn the sharpen down a little bit, uh, have the smoothness a little bit higher to make it look a little better, uh, change the distance around it. It's all up to you. You have to go through these settings individually and mess with things to see what you like the best. Next up, we're going to go back into layers and back into effects, and we're gonna scroll down and click the auto HDR button, and then add this to our thing. Now you're going to notice this is going to brighten up a lot. We're going to go in and actually change this a little bit in the settings because I think this is a little bit too much HDR. We could turn it up even more. We can give it a strong HDR look, but I recommend just turning it slightly down right about there where we want it. And this is going to give us a lot better look, a uh, lot more uh, higher quality HD look to it. And we can even go in and let's go back to color adjustments and actually turn the brightness exactly where we want it. And there we go. We have sort of transformed this video a lot to make it look much higher quality than it actually was. Next up, we're gonna go ahead and click the export button. And then once we're here, you'll notice we have those higher frame rates available and also resolutions. So whatever you shot your video in, this video was shot in 4K, so we're gonna turn it up to 4K. And then we're gonna turn the frame rate all the way up to 60. Now down here in bitrate, you're also going to want to turn bitrate up as high as possible because that's going to determine how good your resolution and quality is. So I always have mine set to the highest possible. And then we're just going to click export and this is going to export this project in as high quality as possible. And that's simply how you can make higher quality videos in KineMaster. But if you haven't heard, I'm creating a KineMaster ebook for free. And if you want this KineMaster ebook, all you have to do is go over to devonstreet.net slash KineMaster ebook or the link in the description below, and you'll be able to sign up. So when this ebook releases, I'll be sending it directly to you in your email absolutely for free. That's a free ebook by just heading over and just typing in your email address. But if you want to know how to edit like a pro in KineMaster, then be sure to go ahead and click the subscribe button and check out all the videos in the KineMaster editing tutorial series. I want to thank you for watching until the very end of this video and I will see you in the next video.